Uh, hey guys, uh, sorry for not making a tutorial for so long, but I had some stuff to do, and you guys probably all know, and I'm not making excuses or anything, but yada yada yada. Anyways, so I'm back, I got my new mic and everything, I'm gonna try and make some tutorials about every week, just like I used to. Uh, I'm just kind of lacking on ideas right now, so if you guys have any requests, you can post them on my channel or whatever. But anyways, back to the tutorial. Um, today we're gonna be doing 3D text, or advanced text in Sony Vegas. Um, you're gonna need the pro version to do it. So, you can have Sony Vegas 6, 7, 8, or 9, whatever, but it has to be the pro version. To check your version, go to help, and then go to about Vegas, and then it'll have all your information right here. It should say Vegas Pro. So, if you have the Platinum or Movie Studio versions, you can't do this. Sorry. Okay, so, I don't have a preview of what we're going to do, but it, it looks pretty good. It's, like, not one of the best things you can do, but it's not, like, totally lame. It's It's kind of cool. Anyways, so, let's get started. So, go to your Media Generators tab go to the text category and just drag default text in and type whatever you want. I'll just type Tectopia. Uh, let's get a nice font. Uh, let's see. I have a lot of fonts here. Uh, Jailbird Jenna. And we'll make that size 48. Okay, so we got our text right here. Now let's go to the compositing mode. That's this little green icon right here. We're going to change it to 3D Source Alpha. Now let's go to the Track Motion option over here and right here this is where we can animate our text in 3D so you can play around with the settings if you want but I don't know you can kinda screw up on it if you just if you aren't careful so what I like to do is go over to the left and input my details manually so under the orientation section here where it says Y we're gonna change this to 75 yeah 75 okay now we're gonna put a keyframe let me just zoom in here we're gonna put a keyframe at about, it doesn't really matter, just a few seconds up and now we're gonna go back to the orientation for Y, double click and we're gonna make it negative 35 like that so that it moves in a keyframe so if I play it, it moves pretty quickly and right now let me just go here we want my, uh, we want your text to be about five seconds long so I'm just gonna drag it to the five second marker right here and the cool thing about editing in 3D is you can manually move your keyframes on the timeline so underneath your text you can see a little keyframe here you're gonna click and drag that and make it all the way to the end so that when we play it back the text takes five seconds to do its full animation like that alright so now let's duplicate this track so just take your video track right click on it and hit duplicate track now let's work with track number two the one we just created let's go to the video effects and find glow and you can do whatever glow you want I'm gonna try and hurry this so it's not gonna to look totally good but just screw around with the settings and you'll get something you'll like. I'm going to drag reset to none on the bottom one and let's get uh, kind of a dark blue. Glow percent's going to be up a bit and in intensity. I don't want it to be too noticeable and I'll just suppress it a bit. Okay, so we got our glow there. Now let's go to Gaussian Blur. Gaussian Blur. I still don't know how to pronounce that. It's been like six months and I haven't really got into it. Anyways, so, yeah. And I'm just going to drag reset to none on the bottom one. And just make sure that vertical range is set to zero. And horizontal range could be anything you want. Just make sure, though, that vertical range is set to zero. Otherwise, it won't look good. All right, so we're good now. Now let's exit this. Now we're going to work with the top track here. So just ignore the bottom one for now. So just uh, focus on the top one. We're going to go back to glow. And we're going to do what we did to the bottom one. Just a little different. Let's drag reset to none on top and let's get kind of a darker blue than we had before and put the intensity up the difference here is that the glow is kind of going inside the text rather than outside so yeah I'm just gonna get kind of a violet color but I don't want it to be too intense I'll try and hurry this up alright that's about good it doesn't need to be perfect okay now let's exit this Alright, the next step is to create a new video track, so go over here, right click and hit insert video track, so now we have a blank video track. Okay, so head over to your media generators, and then go to noise texture, and you can do any one you want if you want to screw around a bit. I'm just going to take standard noise, put it on top, and we're going to go to our keyframes here, and just drag them all the way to the end, and take progress in degrees to the, f to the maximum, and exit that and as you can see uh, the noise texture is slightly longer than our text so we're just gonna drag it so that it's the same length like so and now if we uh, preview it we got this animating stuff 
kind of laggy, but it's not a big deal. Alright, so now that we got our noise texture, let's go over to the compositing modes for track number one and change it to dodge. And what this does is it takes the noise texture we just created and it kind of blends it with the text and it makes a nice effect. Okay, so we're almost done. Let's go back to our video tracks and create a new one, just like that. Now let's go to media generators, solid color, and just drag black over top of it like that. And again, we're just going to shorten it. Now let's go to the compositing modes and change it to add. Or you could use the chroma key function, but I find that just using add, uh, it's a lot faster. But if you want to be really specific, then you can use video effects and go to chroma key. Here. But I'm just going to do it the quick way. Alright, so we got this. Now let's go to video effects and find lens flare. Right here. Okay. Just drag whatever one you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to do 105mm prime, prime lens. Drag it onto the black thing. And what we we have a lens flare here in the preview now. What we're going to do is position it so that the right side is on the right side of the text, like this. Also, we're going to take the perspective and turn it to zero, as well as the intensity. Okay, so now you're probably thinking, oh no, where's my lens flare go? It's gone. But don't worry, we're going to keyframe it into the text. So here's our keyframes. Let's just push it uh, about not even like a second, maybe three quarters of a second. And now what we're going to do is turn the intensity up, turn the perspective up, just so that you can start to see it. And we're going to position the lens flare to the left side of the text right now. Just like that. And then we're going to advance it along. And we're just going to kind of position it so that it looks nice. Keep going. Maybe turn the intensity up. Eh, no, turn it down a bit. And just keep going. Now I'm going to take this one all the way to pretty much the end and just switch it sides like that and turn the intensity down a bit we're gonna kinda keyframe it out now rather than in okay yeah just screw around the settings like I said earlier on in the video um, yours is gonna look just like this you wanna fool around with the settings to get the kind of effect that you're looking for right now I'm just rushing and just showing you the basics of 3d text I'm not trying to make a totally professional looking intro or anything I'm just showing the basics, so don't complain that it doesn't look as good as you were hoping for. Alright, so now we're on our final keyframe. Go to the scrubber, as I like to call it. Put it all the way to the end, or maybe a frame before the end, and turn perspective down and intensity down. And that's basically it. I'm just going to do a quick RAM preview for you guys. One sec. Select the loop region. Hit Shift and B. And it's just going to process this. and okay okay so I just did a RAM preview now go up to the preview box and hit the preview button so yeah that's just a very fast very simple very basic yeah using the word very a lot so yeah very easy um, 3d text effect right there obviously you can do a bit more with it um, I saw some other people do this they were doing it with like TV simulator and stuff and that's kinda cool you can um, experiment with different effects if that interests you. But I'm just showing you a basic uh, introduction to 3D text. I might expand on it in another video. But that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please rate it, whatever you think it deserves. It doesn't matter if it's like a one star even. It, it just helps for feedback. So yeah, rate the video. If you like my tutorial, subscribe and I'll upload them every week about. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.